As of 12.01 this morning, after 18 years of injustice, don't ask, don't tell, it's history. President Obama has delivered on another campaign promise, and like President Harry Truman, he righted a wrong in our military. No longer will tens of thousands of Americans in uniform be asked to live a lie or look over their shoulder in order to serve the country that they love. That's why I believe this is the right thing to do for our military. That's why I believe it is the right thing to do, period. It's a change fueled by evolving public opinion. When the law was passed in 1993, only 40% of Americans favored letting gays and lesbians serve openly. By last year, 67% were in favor. This policy was a waste of time and money for this country, and it was simply unjust. More than 14,000 gay and lesbian service members were discharged under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Today, those serving in secret finally came out to celebrate this historic moment. My name is First Lieutenant Josh Seafried, and I am a gay First Lieutenant in the United States Air Force. It's a huge burden lifted off of my shoulder. Every day when this policy was in place, there is not a single day that this policy does not consume you. This conversation comes up constantly. You're always in fear that you're gonna lose the career you loved. I'm 31 years old. I'm a woman. I'm a United States Marine, and I'm a lesbian. And, uh, pardon me. Prior to today, if I had said that, I could expect to be discharged from the military. I feel like today is a great day for the Marine Corps, and I feel like the Marine Corps only gets stronger today. Semper Fi. Joining me now is Marine Corps Reservist Captain Sarah Pazat and former Air Force Major Mike Almy. Mike was thrown out of the Air Force after 13 years of service, including overseeing a team of 200 men and women after superiors searched his email. Thank you both for joining me on this historic day. Captain uh, Pazat, we just saw a tape of you coming out today. Did you ever imagine this day would come? It certainly was a, uh, a long time in the making. Um, in a lot of ways, it seemed like the 60 days itself was never going to end. Um, but here it is. It's September 20th. Don't ask, don't tell is gone. Major uh, Almy, how do you feel today? It's a tremendous day for all of us, um, certainly for the LGBT community. It's a, it's a huge step forward towards equality um, for all LGBT citizens. Now we can serve honestly and openly without having to lie and sacrifice our integrity every day. I had to lie for 13 years every day that I served in the military, and despite never once making a statement that violated Don't Ask, Don't Tell, I was still thrown out. And yet for my friend Sarah, who today had the, the courage and the strength to stand up there to the, the public today at the Congress and say that not only is she a captain in the Marine Corps, that she's also a lesbian, that just took tremendous strength and integrity on her part to do that. What we need right now, now that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is finally history, we need more people like her. We need gays and lesbians serving as leaders and role models officers and enlisted alike throughout our armed services showing the valuable contributions that we make every day to our national security. Let me ask you this, Major. Uh, some politicians tried to deny that people like you were facing uh, this kind of uh, uh, intrusion and this kind of bias. Uh, let me show you an exchange with Senator John McCain as a case in point of, of, of some of the denial that uh, we uh, saw in Washington leading up to the, uh, this law being changed. The regulations are you do not go out and seek to find out someone's sexual orientation. But Senator, that's you not do the not. Way. That is the fact. That is the fact. Go get the man. I know the military very well, and I know what's being done. And that what is being done is that they're not seeking out people who are gay. And I don't care what you say. I know it's a fact. 
He says they were not seeking out people who were gay. You are major. You come from a family of military men. Your father uh, went to West Point, uh, flew helicopters over Vietnam, uncle celebrated, and they went in your emails. You were you had your privacy invaded. They were looking for gays. Is that not true? Tell us your story. That's absolutely true. I, I served for 13 years, did four deployments in the Middle East. Never once during my time in wearing the uniform, never once did I make a statement to the military that violated Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And yet the Air Force went out of their way in Iraq during the height of the insurgency to search my personal emails looking for whatever potential evidence they could find that I had violated Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So the Air Force, in essence, asked, or rather demanded, that I give them an explanation for these private emails. And I never told, and yet I was still thrown out. I, I lived up to my end of this bargain of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It was the Air Force that had violated it. And yet Senator McCain, and I, and I know that exchange very well, I testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee last March, and Senator McCain has heard my story. He's familiar with it. Uh, and yet he, um, I don't know if he had forgotten my story or he just was out of touch with the reality of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I like to believe that Senator McCain is an honorable man and he has certainly served his country well and faithfully and sacrificed far more than, than many of us can ever imagine. But I think he is out of touch or was out of touch with the, uh, the American population on this issue. The Secretary of Defense, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, all of the senior leadership of the military as well as approximately 70 percent of the men and women wearing the uniform today and the vast majority of the American population think Don't Ask, Don't Tell is, is, is had to change and thankfully that day is now a reality thanks to uh, President Obama and the leadership that he has provided on this issue. Sarah, Captain Sarah, let me ask you, what about the critics that say this will hurt the military? You're in the military, how do you answer that? Well, Al, here's what I can tell you. We may be trained war fighters, but we're not robots. We all have different backgrounds, different opinions on just about everything. And the fact is, just because I disagree with some characteristic of somebody or their opinion, I still have to treat them with dignity and respect. And I have confidence that you know, the Marine Corps leadership and the leadership in all the services is going to step out smartly and implement this repeal with my only minor issues. Well, Major Mike Almy and Captain Sarah Pazat, thank you both for your service to the country and for joining us this evening. Thank you for having us on this tremendous day. Thank you.